Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain frequency response analysis. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of frequency response analysis. See frequency response is the steady state output of an LTI system to the sinusoidal input. So if you want frequency response of LTI system, then you'll have to give input that is sinusoidal input to the system and you will have to measure steady state output. For example, if you have one LTI system over here where we give input here and we take output from here, input will be sinusoidal input. Let us assume input is A sin omega t. Here we will be measuring steady state output of this LTI system. Let us assume steady state output C of t is a dash sin omega t plus phi. So here in frequency response, we analyze magnitude of output and phase of output. Because of this system, here gain will be output amplitude divided by input amplitude. And because of this system, here additional phase is there that is phi. So in frequency response analysis, we analyzed parameters like gain and phase gain will be a dash divided by a and phase that is a phase due to this LTI system right here if you observe with output and input frequency is same right here we are measuring gain and phase of the system now question is how to have a measurement to have a measurement here we have LTI system that is having transfer function g of s here with this transfer function g of s, first of all we will have to substitute s is equals to j omega. If you substitute s is equals to j omega, then with this system we will be having two components. One is magnitude and second is phase. Here this g of j omega that is having mode of g of j omega that is magnitude of system and phase is angle. In future coming videos, I will explain you different methods like body plot, Nyquist plot, polar plot, in which I will explain how to identify magnitude and phase. Right now consider with any system, if you substitute S is equals to G omega, then there will be magnitude and phase. Right. Now, see here we will be analyzing output. That output C of T, that will be input into system. So here input is R of t and system is G of J omega. R of t that is A sin omega t and G of J omega is mode of G of J omega and angle of G of J omega. Here if you observe we have magnitude of output that is A into mode of G of J omega. So here we have magnitude of output that is A into mode of G of J omega and with this sin omega t additional phase that is angle of g of j omega that is getting added. So if you observe this output that is a dash sin omega t plus phi where this a dash is a that is input amplitude into magnitude of this LTI system and this phi that is happening because of phase of this system right. So here gain of the system that is a dash by a. So here in lab, what you do? You give input that is sinusoidal input and you will be measuring output. Based on ratio of amplitude at output to input, we can identify gain of the system and by comparing phase of input and output, we can identify phi that is angle of the system. That is how we do measurement of frequency response analysis. Now let me discuss about methods of frequency response analysis. See there are many methods, analytical methods, graphical methods, right. But here I will talk about those methods which I will be using in this playlist. See for frequency response, popular method is body plot that I will be discussing with great clarity in this video lecture series. Polar plot that also I will cover in this video lecture series. Nyquist plot that also I will cover in this video lecture series and another method is there that is Nicholas plot. 
see Nicholas plot that I'm not going to cover in this video lecture series, right? If you talk about applications of frequency response analysis, then usually in many branches of engineering, we do frequency response analysis. Like we do frequency response analysis with control system analysis. We use it in signal processing. We use it with audio video system. We also use it with mechanical system and we use it with communication system. So that is how frequency response analysis that is used in different branches of engineering. I hope you have enjoyed this video. From next video onwards, we'll explain parameters of frequency response analysis. Thank you so much for watching this video.